Exchanges and clearing houses are highly rated within the financial services sector, despite negative rating action in 2012. But lower trading volumes will put global exchanges to the test in 2013, as clearing houses deal with regulations. Joining me today to discuss the outlook for 2013 are Giles Edwards and Samira Mensa, analysts with S&P Ratings. Sam, exchanges have seen a drastic uh, decrease in volumes, uh, both in cash and derivative products. Is this a trend we'll be seeing in 2013 as well? Yes, that's true. Uh, volumes have uh, have decreased in 2012, continuing their trend from uh, from 2011. Uh, owing to a low uh, interest uh, rate environment and also low volatility uh, in general. And so we see this trend to conti continue in uh, 2013 uh, and uh, this will uh, obviously uh, impact uh, revenues uh, and operating cash flow at exchanges and hurt potentially their profitability metrics. Uh, at the same time, we think that exchanges have, um, are more and more conscious about this uh, new uh, trading environment and they are trying actually to mitigate uh, lower trading volume by uh, creating new products, launching uh, new services in the, in the technology and uh, information space. And what other um, type of measures can exchanges and clearing houses implement in order to support revenues? Yes, one of the, the, the measures that uh, some of them can take is to organize themselves and uh, operate as a vertical silo business model, whereby they will uh, basically, uh, uh, under one roof, uh, offer uh, trade execution and uh, clearing services and they will generate more revenues uh, as a result. Another uh, possibility for, uh, for clearing uh, uh, houses in particular is to trade, to, um, to clear uh, OTC derivative product, which is potentially a large source of revenue in the future. And finally, we see more p potential or possibilities for clearing houses, but also CSDs, to, uh, to offer uh, collateral uh, management to, to their clients. Uh, speaking of which, we see rising calls uh, uh, in high quality collateral uh, giles. This can mean uh, increased cost, but at the same time an opportunity in terms of revenue. Uh, which direction is this trend taking? Well, I mean, collateral is of course used wisely, widely across the financial services system um, to protect it against credit risk. And that's nothing new, uh, but the calls on collateral are rising and rising um, for clearing members and for, for trading members in particular. Whether you know, if you're a bank, Basel III will force you to hold more collateral or you, and against exposures, and you'll be putting more of your trades into clearing houses, which require more collateral. Um, so there is a pressure for members to, to source this collateral. And we think that as, um, as um, center points, if you like, within the financial services um, sector, depositories in particular play, can play a particular role here to expand the services they provide those members to essentially make sure they manage their collateral in the most efficient way possible, essentially reduce this sort of this cost, this rising cost for members. So there's an opportunity to be had. Collateral mitigates risk for clearing houses. How is this trend played? Um, you're absolutely right. You know, it's, it's a key risk mitigant for a clearing house um, in terms of what they take in. There are two, I mean, generally we think clearing houses do a pretty good job and are pretty conservative most of the time. But we see a positive and a negative trend. Positively, we see particularly regulators in Europe pushing up standards to, um, in terms of how clearing houses, what collateral they take in and also how they use that collateral in order, in order to protect the clearing house even more than it is today. Um, slightly negatively, we see a bit of pressure on the clearing houses from their members to essentially because their members would like to post as any possible range of collateral, including some lower quality collateral, the clearing houses have a temptation to um, accede to those demands and lower their standards, which could ultimately cause themselves a problem in the future. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. <laughs>